Hey, what's going on, everyone? Dan the Glassman here, and welcome back to the Glassman's World. So today, I wanted to show you a, a new experiment. I have not tried this before, so this is a first time attempt once again for me. I don't know if anyone else has tried this yet, um, but what you see here is a rocket stove that I had just made the other day. This is actually a new design that I came up with the other day as well, so this will be the first time that we're going to test this out. Um, here and I, I have this idea I've had this idea for a long time uh, you know how I make the uh, survival candles with the um, with the toilet paper inside of the, the tuna cans uh, let me grab one real quick and I can show you so basically we got this here which is a uh, hand sanitizer inside of this um, this toilet paper roll and this has been sitting for a while I actually don't know if this is even flammable which would be good to check so let's see if it even lights up okay so the alcohol might have actually it seems like it wants to light but then it doesn't so the alcohol probably evaporated because it's been sitting and I don't have any lids. But if you basically add some alcohol to your candle like this, then you have basically a simple surviving candle. And you can also add rubbing alcohol uh, to, to the mix as well. So with just the gel alone, this should burn. As you can see, and it burns really nice and clean. No smoke, no soot. And then, and you can see I'm holding it right now. It might get warm, but then you can easily just smother it out just like that with another can there. So that's what we're going to try out today, but on a smaller version. So we're going to use this little thing here, which is simply the bottom of um, the can that got cut out. So... The lid of the can got cut out, and I basically bent that into that shape there. So we're going to try to use this as a small little cup. What would be cool is if I had a small... Um, actually, I might. I might have an empty, or maybe I can just pull it out. A tea light candle. And if I could just pull this out. Oh, no, it didn't pull out. So it's stuck in there. Maybe, maybe I can get it out. Let's attempt this. Let's see. This might be the, the perfect size and everything, although I might be messing up the shape of it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Look at that. All right. Well, we got two of them that we can test out now. This one's a little bit more heavy duty. We'll stick with the first one. And also, for safety, we're going to use the silicone... Matt here. Matt. All right, so we'll take this silicone pad here. And we're going to put that right there. So we're going to heat this up, and we don't want to burn the table. All right, now let me show you how this all fits together here. So the can basically is all built with a hole through the side of this uh, this huge. I don't know, a huge uh, coffee can, soup can. This actually had pasole in it, I believe. And then we're using three other soup cans. So basically you create an L shape inside of here. Two cans are connected. And I don't want to pull this out because it was really hard to get through here. But if you can see, I actually screwed this can together to this one right here. I don't know if you can see inside there. But you can see that screw just right down there. Um, when I cut it open, I basically folded the, like the aluminum, I folded it and I, and I screw those little flaps to this can so it, it can't lift out anymore. As you can see, I can just hold it just like that. Okay, now we have this piece right here, which basically just is the lid that came off of this can right here, right? So we bent that in, in a way that can slide in 
you can see it's kind of tapered right here a little bit tapered in more right here so it's going to slide into this can so we're just going to squeeze it see that see it squeezes in and what's beautiful is that this is pretty much all condensed in a small little thing like this i wish this would slide in somehow but it doesn't or you know you can also just keep it pieced together so then we have that piece and then we're going to just squeeze that a little bit just to get that one right on top. And bam, that's going to hold those pieces together right there, guys. Now we have a full burning chamber with those two pieces all pieced together. And I just want to make sure that that grabs hold of it really well. So let's just make sure that we get that directly in the center there. There it goes. Yeah, that's better. All right, now... Let's move up here to the top. So as you can see, I opened up the top and I basically just I cut it in the center with a knife and then I used some pliers to just roll it back, you know, like I sardine canned it open. So you can see that, just used some pliers and just twisted it and sardine canned it open. So what my idea was, was that it would then create these little out pull, uh, these like little ports right here for the flame to come out as you can see right here right here on, on this on the sides but then i was thinking once you put a pan on there you know that's going to really not leave too many ports and you only have like four and i think it would maybe smother the fire or create some some problems with pressure and stuff so then i was thinking well let me just open it up and so that's why i just opened up the whole entire thing around this side right here and as you can see it's pretty much equal and even i didn't do any sort of measuring i just eyeballed it so hopefully it's all going to work now i don't think we're going to try to boil water or anything we're simply just going to see if this miniature burn is going to work so my idea usually you feed these rocket stoves inside here you have some sort of a platform down here like a flat platform um, usually we just use like a, another piece of, of the can, make it flat, you know, open up a can and then make it flat. So it would lay just right here, which allows air to come through the bottom and you put your wood laying on top here. So you would basically just feed the inside. Let's say this pen is a piece of wood and you would put a whole bunch of pieces of kindling in here. And this is what you would... You would light the ends of this on fire and your burn chamber is inside of this tube right in here. So your burn chamber is right down there in the bottom. As it burns, heat rises, which then sucks the air in through here. With this being stuffed full of wood, it's going to burn for a while, but this allows the air intake underneath. So you continuously have a stoking fire going, and that's why you call it a rocket stove, because it creates a turbine, so the air just gets sucked through. So my idea that I've always wondered is, can you make an alcohol survival candle, something small that you can put inside here in the burn chamber, just like that, and burn it inside there, Will it get hot enough to cook? Will it, will it even burn the same way? Will it actually get stoked in the same way? Now, I wish I had something a little bit bigger that would take up more space in there to actually replicate the size of the flame that we would normally have. But we're going to do this indoor, so we're going to keep it small. So here we go. Let's try this out. First, we're going to get some toilet paper. Now, my, hopefully my idea will work. We're just going to get some pieces here. And I wanted to do is just squirt some of this hand sanitizer right into there, just like that. I'm going to fold it into itself. Okay, and we're going to add some more hand sanitizer just right there. Fold it into itself. And, yeah, I can feel it coming through. So hopefully we can just do this a couple times. Just add some hand sanitizer, fold it, and... Uh, We'll see if we can just get this to get shoved in into here. I don't know if that's enough, but that looks pretty good. Look at that. That fits pretty good. All right, let's do that again real quick. So I just used like four, four sheets of toilet paper, pretty much, folded it in half, squirted it on one side like that. 
folded it again in half. Let's try to get it on that crease. Squirted it again, folded it in half, squirted it again. I can feel it on the bottom now, fold it in half, and pretty much bring it to that size there. And then let's put it in here. Let's see if that'll work. See if I can fit this in here in the little mini tea light candle holder. And bam. Now I'm going to soak these on top as well. So we're just gonna take take our new little miniature survival stoves or survival candles. We're just gonna add a little bit of that hand sanitizer. You know, you can rub it in if you want, or you can even leave it gelled up. I'm not sure what'll be best. Maybe we'll do both. Maybe we'll mix it in, make sure it's soaked in, and add a little bit just, just to make sure it lights. Okay, let's see if they light. I'm going to put this in here for safety in case it does light. We're going to use, I've got this uh, cool glass little pusher here for heat just in case. And um, let's try this out. Okay, this will be the first time you guys, let's see if it lights. We got flame. Put it in there. All right, let's bring you guys down a little bit closer here. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, I'm gonna have to take the camera off. Or maybe you can see from right here. So there is a flame going. It's hot right there, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Okay, well, I can see that it does light, it stays lit. I don't know if it's getting more hotter or getting stoked in any way. I think it's just gonna stay at about that size. Here, let's come over here. We'll try to get a little bit better of an angle here. I can get closer. All right, that's better. So we're doing this in the living room, guys. All right, now the the other thing, too, is that we would normally have this lifted up still. So maybe what we need to do is is build that, that piece up. It's good flame. But it's not coming out the top. And that's what I was hoping. I can see some stuff smoking. Oh, yeah. Normally, these cans have a little bit of the sticky glue on them. So I forgot about that. We should actually blow this out so we don't get any kind of fumes or anything indoor. And um, I don't know. That works. That would actually, I think would heat up something it looks like it's burning pretty good i do see that there is some smoke coming up though so and it could just be burning out the the inside of the can as well but you can see uh let's get this outside open up the door please cool <laughs> Got a red nice all right. I don't know if it's burning anymore because it's so bright out here. Looks like it is. Yeah. Yeah, you can still see it, huh? Just a little bit. All right, let me see if I can pull it out. I think it's not. No, it's still lit. I'm just going to try to pull it back some. Yeah, I can see it, like, boiling. <laughs> All right, so now it's just really bright out here. Let's see if I can. There it goes. Maybe if I. I don't know if you can really you can. see it. Yeah, you can still see it lit. <laughs> so I don't know how long it'll stay lit. That's a that'll be a good test to see. 
How long would this little tiny candle burn? So, and usually this thing gets so hot with the with the real fire that you wouldn't be able to touch it. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's already too hot to touch. That's getting hot. That's pretty awesome. And it's still burning. I don't know if you can see that, guys. You can see the toilet paper wick start to burn. Once the alcohol evaporates or burns off. Oh, I think it went out. I think it just went out. All right, well, that wasn't too long of a burn. So now we'll just have to test out these small little candles, see if we can make anything bigger or, or what we can do with this kind of situation. But this is a new idea, you guys, on how to make this cool rocket stove right here. But once again, this is Dan the Glassman. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys soon.